and now the pram bug. And uh, I was just doing a bit of research on this, and I want to give you a quote. It's called by one scientist, a nasty deep sea amphipod that carves its home from the guts of an unfortunate salp. Yes, it, it, it's thought that perhaps it was the inspiration for the alien drawings in the film Alien that was uh, designed by H.R. Geiger, the famous illustrator, uh, who died a couple of years ago. But H.R. Uh, Geiger's drawings of aliens look very similar to Pheronima, the prambug amphipod, which you've just described. It, it does an extraordinary thing. It uses the shell of a salp. Salps are, again, another creature which we're not familiar with. They're related to sea squirts, tunicates, but they're floating free in the water, and they can be tens of feet long. They're, they're with hundreds they're of segments. They're just masses, aren't they, John? They are, but they're made up of segments, and what the pram bug has done is to cut out one of the segments, which must be about maybe three, three or four centimeters long, and it's a, they're they're like little barrels, the segments, and then it's gone inside this animal, it's eaten out the insides, so it just wants the barrel of this salp, and so why does it do that? It's thought that perhaps that is a more efficient way to travel through the water inside this tube, and it's not using as much energy. A lot of the relatives of the of this particular amphipod, which is a type of crustacean, I think, isn't it, um, are found on the seabed um, because that's uh, it's less energetic to travel around on the seabed. But if you want to find different food and more food, you might want to travel up into the water column. But if you do that, it's going to cost more energy to swim around. This thing has found a way to get around that by uh, stealing the segments of a salp, which is okay, quite extraordinary. Yeah. So and it's a clever, a clever strategy. But why called the pram bug? Is it something to do with babies? Yes. Um, so what happens is that, uh, like Alien, again, this is where the um, parallel with the uh, film Alien is, where the parasites go inside and eat you. Uh, it goes inside the salp, eats it out, and then lays its eggs inside. The female lays her eggs inside, and they develop inside this segment. And you can see lots of little babies inside. And it's pushing it around, presumably giving nice oxygenated um, current over the eggs too. So there's some other benefits there. But the, the males are also found inside the salp. So it's not entirely to do with laying the eggs in, although that's very helpful. It's a, In fact, if you were to be strict about it, it's a, a parasitoid rather than a parasite because parasitoids are things that um, kill off their host. And of course, it's killed off the salp and it's just using an element of the salp. Although apparently some of the salp tissue is still alive, which is a bit creepy. Uh, <laughs> but the, the salp, in effect, becomes like a giant pram nursery carrying lots of eggs of the of this particular pram bug. Yes, well, what you see is this alien-like creature, which looks like a big shrimp inside, and um, it's got its tail hanging out of the back of this uh, barrel, and that's how it pushes it along. It flaps, it flaps its legs and its tail and pushes the whole thing through the water. And um, it is just like it's taking a pram with uh, all its developing young inside.